www.thebarbershow.com They um, didn't really give us much of anything in ball. What it did to us today was basically just show us that, uh, number one, they don't take this seriously. Uh, number two, uh, the Sheriff's Department didn't even show enough respect to send a representative um, to the meeting. Um, you know, and uh, they seem to feel that when they sign an agreement with the people and of the country and the Department of Justice that it's uh, changeable according to which administration's in, in, in um, office. Um, I've never heard of such a thing before. I've never heard of such a legal uh, ploy, but that's apparently their defense for the sheriff not having an ADA coordinator is this sheriff didn't agree to it. It was the last sheriff. Um, however, the Department of Justice doesn't seem to uh, agree, um, nor do any of the attorneys representing us. So at this time, uh, Richmond County has given us no choice but to litigate for the ADA rights of the citizens because we can clearly see that um, they're only placating again uh, and whatever we get now will be taken away again. Um, they made it very clear they can do that at will and that's something that uh, we don't consider legal. What, what, what is surprising is that uh, there was two um, appointments. I got right. Okay. Okay. Uh, there was two appointment or two hiring yesterday about uh, deputy administrators, and it didn't took a, a few minutes uh, to, to to be done this. But he, he, here, still we have um, the ADA coordinator was approved last year in the uh -huh. budget for this year, and still three months later. I don't even have the job description written. They asked me today to bring them job description material again to so that they can write a job description. Well, you know, the ADA Act pretty much lays out the responsibility, the requirements, and the uh, purview of what an ADA coordinator does and doesn't do, um, what the responsibilities are, and, and um, what the expectations should be. So basically, the federal government's done that job for them to meet compliance. Um, they can add to it, but they really can't take away from that. So basically, what it comes down to is um, they're not really in earnest uh, during a coordinator hunt, uh, some of the documents they've just approved yesterday, uh, you can see that they're very rushed documents. They are not well thought out documents. And, uh, you know, they're really not addressing compliance in its full issues. And we're still without a certified ADA coordinator contact. They're saying go through the administrator's office. However, um, that's not adequate for the sheriff's department. You know, it's not adequate for other trend, other um, contractors which are required to stay ADA compliant if they contract with this government, and we're not keeping them to that either. So basically what it is, is it's across the board ADA violations by the administration at all levels in all areas. Some critics um, of your uh, activism uh, is that uh, you just want the money, you are, you are going after the money uh, uh, that it would come from lawsuit, we but 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 you have been lawsuit. working. You have been talking to the government uh, with Fred Russell when from Fred Russell was we, we administrator. In, we started actually. We started this uh, with the ADA with the issues of uh, non-regulation of Richmond of a radio cab company by Richmond County, uh, which they set the fees. Uh, they didn't participate, and the DOJ had to come out. And that was back in Deke Copenhagen's uh, when he was running for election for the first term. So we're talking a period of eight years, almost nine now. That um, so you have plenty passed. of time to sue the city, but because you don't want to harm uh, taxpayers, you were waiting and waiting patiently. But the patient is running out. Well, we're, we're out of patience, and we're also at 25 years into this signature of the rights of the ADA Act, and this city still has not complied. Um, we've been working with the city for close to 10 years now, and still. They've only complied under duress or under threat of litigation. Uh, we are tired of threatening litigation. It's time to take litigation because every time we get an ADA coordinator under threat of litigation, it is again pulled back and defunded or deauthorized. So basically, we've had three ADA coordinators since we started this sojourn, starting with Diana Darris, who was EEO, then made ADA coordinator. She was removed, and then we had to fight again to get Jacqueline Humphrey into that spot. And then she was removed. During that time, they took away the Human Relations Board, 
which was our only other venue other than having an ADA coordinator to complain, so we can't have a voice there. So basically, they essentially have stripped the voice from all citizens with disabilities in the county of being able to make complaint, have their voices heard, or participate in county government. 